Hey, what's up guys? It's Tristan101 here today, and we're going to be focusing on a video of my camera. Uh, we're going to be doing an overview and a review. Um, so, this is a Canon EOS Rebel 2000. Um, this retails for like 10 bucks now, since it's from like the 80s and 90s. But, this retails for pretty cheap. If you got it brand new off the um, Canon website, which I think they might still be selling them. I mean, I've seen them. I forget which website I was on, but it was like a photography website, and it was like 300 bucks for it with like a bag and all that. But the camera itself is like probably like a hundred dollar camera, but um, you can get it for cheap, like used on Amazon or whatever. Uh, my take on it, um, out of a 10 for quality, I gave it like a 9.5 because I really like the quality of the camera since it is a film camera on um, the difference between digital and film. And there's some pros and cons about both, but I've always liked the film because, um, I mean, I have that, I like having that captured and on an actual thing you can get framed rather than having a uh, like little thing you can just scroll through. You can still get those framed on the digital, but um, I'd rather have the film, honestly, because I'm like an old-fashioned kind of guy and I like retro and vintage stuff, so the film is kind of my thing anyway. Um, the uh, films usually have like 20 to 24 pictures on them. The lenses you can get in the various sizes. This one is a 2080, I think, or a 2880 actually. Um, I think this is probably like a hundred or hundred fifty dollar lens. It might even be two hundred or three hundred. But um, you can get them at Walmart, like the Canon ones, and they usually retail for like five hundred bucks. And um, they go upwards to like um, fifteen hundred. And those are really expensive. And that could put a downer in your um, paycheck or your pocketbook. So I recommend getting a um, like a Amazon gift card or something. Going on Amazon and getting a uh, a lens or getting your lenses there, or even going to like a thrift shop or something, or like getting one off a buddy. I don't recommend going to Walmart. Yes, they're still quality and they're trustworthy, but they're really expensive. And you don't want to be spending fifteen hundred bucks if you're not going to be taking photography seriously. And if you are, get you know get your tripods that are like hundred and get your like um, your lenses that are expensive. But I don't recommend getting your lenses at Walmart or something because they are really expensive. Like I said, um, I recommend this for cameras like that. This little one, uh, it's twenty eight eighty. Like I said, which that basically means that the uh, zoom there, this numbers there, and it's twenty eight eighty, obviously. Um, there's a autofocus, there's a manual focus. Now what does that mean? Is um, the little switch there. Now if you put that in the camera, when you're ready to take a picture, you'll be hearing a whirring sound. That's on autofocus. Manual focus, it doesn't usually make that noise. But you know. Um, the whole camera, like I said, the quality is like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the, um, the construction of it is definitely a 10. Because, um, I mean, I've dropped this, has so many scuffs on Um The brand name, Canon and Nikon and Nixon and Polaroid and um, those other ones, those other big top camera bands. Canon and Nikons, I really like better. Like, um, one of my good friends has a, a Nikon D3100, and hers is a really, really nice camera. Um, Corey uh, has a uh, T3i Canon Rebel. Yeah, he has a Canon Rebel EOS T3i. He's really nice. He's the one that has the uh, flip-out camcorder on it. Um, that quality is really good. I mean, I don't really like digital cameras, but his, I will give it, like, definitely a 10 because this is a really nice camera. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This camera is a really good camera. I recommend picking one of these up. Um, Canon and Nikons, definitely get the Nikon D3100 if you want to go in, like, to that, like, digital thing. But the Nikon D3100 and the Canon Rebel T3i are kind of rough for me to choose from. But film cameras, the Canon Rebel EOS um, 2000 is a really, really nice film camera. It is old, but the quality on it is really nice, so it's not going to be, like, a... Like a like really old like retro Polaroid, but I mean it is a really nice camera. I recommend picking one of these up if you want to take photography, if you're gonna want to get into photography. If you want film, go for this. If you want the digital, I mean that's kind of your choice. But uh, yeah, I recommend this very very highly. So um, be sure to check out some of my other videos on my review about my guitar, and then I post my intro video. I'm gonna start. So um, like and subscribe, and peace out.